My dad is my hero. I remember listening to his voice on my little transistor radio stuck to my ear when I was yay high. He would tell the most extraordinary story live about the most ordinary people to millions of French auditors that were listening to his show. Everybody would become this remarkable character. I was hooked. I knew I wanted to be a journalist. But it's not that easy when your dad is so famous to follow in his footsteps. And one day when I was 18, he told me, to be a journalist, you have to have a certain drive. And I don't think you have it in you. I was crushed. I then decided I wasn't going to study journalism. Instead, I was going to study architecture. I love drawing buildings. I was good at it. So why not? Then in August of 1994, my dad called me and told me that my sister was going to the United States to study English. He thought it would be a good idea if I go with her to help her out. It would also allow me to figure what exactly I want to do because architecture wasn't really fulfilling me. Right there, I knew that it was the doorway to leave my past behind and to move afresh and start somewhere else where the pressure of being the son of Max Meunier did not exist. January 4, 1995, I left for Tampa with an open ticket but I knew I wasn't coming back. For the next three years, I studied at USF. Many people doubted me. My dad even came there and told me, vacation are over, time to go home. I was furious. I told him, no, I want to stay here and I want to become my own person. He left. We didn't speak for the next six months until I was accepted into the journalism program which leads me to work for my university newspaper and even get an internship with the Tampa Tribune and cover the World Cup in 1998 in France. It was amazing, such a success for me. And I was only 24. Three months later, my dad came for my graduation and he was so proud. He told me, what's next? That's when I decided to move to San Francisco. There, I found a job as a video editor for a wedding company. I didn't know anything about video editing, but I tried it and I loved it. And then I picked up the camera and I applied all my technique of photojournalism that I learned at the university to my work. I had a knack for it. I had found my calling. So much so that in 2003, I risked it all and I created my own company. Since then, I have filmed numerous wedding, and I have told many more brand and corporate stories as my business has evolved. 25 years ago, when I left France, I thought I was running away from my dad's shadow. I now realize that I was running towards my own success story. Everybody has a story and every story matters. So what's your story? <laughs>